right, folks, it's Stephen Phillips again with Phillips Run Dip and Bubble Company. And boy, have I got a deal that I have found today, and I'm excited whatsoever. My favorite A-body Mopar ever. I got a buddy of mine that moves heavy equipment. He moves some heavy equipment for a guy, and the guy said, hey, I'll throw this car in uh, for uh, part of the payment. And he said, I'll do it. And he got it up here, called me, and won't know if I was interested. And I said, absolutely, I'll take it. But anyway, we have got a 1968 Dodge Dart 270, which is the uh, top of the line for 1968. The way you know 1968 is these little side marker lights that's round, and they put them on all 68 cars, the prettiest little things. And why they did it, one year only, I have no idea. But anyway, this is the 270. It's got all the chrome. It's got the vinyl roof on it. You can see the, uh, the chrome right here. It's got the AMF or AM stereo or AM. I guess it wouldn't be stereo back then. But anyway, with the dial turns, which they went away, I think, the next year to the knobs. Uh, a little automatic, but the cool thing about this little feather is, uh, if he'll show you right there, it has got the uh, Chrysler air conditioning. Factory air conditioning. Come on back up here and look at this now. Some folks are going to be excited and some folks are not. But anyway, this is the uh, 68, which is the first year for the 225 Slant 6, what they call the leaning tower of power. Uh, but it's got the factory air conditioning still on it, power steering. And uh, which back in the day, that was a that was a pretty big option, pretty big option, because a lot of the cars back in the day, they, they just wanted to go from point A to point B. But anyway, this isn't having all the whistles and bells. Now, the 225 Slant 6, I'm going to leave in it, but I think I'm going to take, if y'all seen the video with the uh, Smoky Unix uh, 225 Slant 6 that I have in my little Dodge truck, I think we're going to take it out, run through it, and put it in this car, because it's, it's beefed up, it's full barrels, headers, and the whole nine yards on that. I think that'd be a very cool option another thing on the 68 or the mopars that i love and a lot of folks do is the little turn signals on top of the fenders these were uh in 68 you see how pretty they were they went to smaller ones as the years went on but the chrome is all good on the car uh this that side on the other side's got a little bit of a dent in it but i think we can straighten it but all the the 270 chrome is still on it not that much rust not that much rust at all the grill is absolutely perfect if uh you can see the grill in it. Show them the grill there just a little bit, how perfect the, the grill is all. I mean, there's not a dent on this. We got a little bit on this piece right here, but the grill is absolutely perfect. The uh, the 68s, they moved the, the turn signal just a little bit and went round on them in 68. But uh, everything is here for this car. I've got the uh, uh, rally wheels that come factory with it. I mean, the stern wheel is still in good shape. The dash pad's kind of wrinkled up on the thing, but uh, it is absolutely, and uh, I don't see a whole lot of rust on it whatsoever. We'll just got some water in the full board, but I don't think that's a big deal. Uh, it's just from where it's been setting. But absolutely excited about this to no end. I have not opened the trunk yet on it, but I'm sure there's probably some rust in the trunk. We got some rust right here on the quarters. But uh, this is, uh, when it comes to A-bodies, this is my favorite A-body, I think, that uh, Chrysler ever built. Uh, we used to race actually a Dodge Dart just like this back dirt tracking, and I'll try to post a picture of that. I shouldn't be a problem. Uh, which was a 17. We was the only people at the dirt track with a Mopar, and uh, when we started racing that car, Randy Cook drove it, and uh, we won 17 straight races in a row. Uh, and then we had some car troubles and didn't win the 18th one. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to show y'all this, and we're going to. Uh, he's got a roll. Uh, he's got a record company, and he's going to bring it to us and drop it off and. Then we'll clean it out and go through it and see what the rust is on it and uh, maybe even try to crank this. I think it should fire right up, but uh, like I said, I kind of got my heart set on putting the 225 Slant 6 out of the uh, Dodge truck that I've got because it's full barrel headers and uh, got all the whistles and bells on it. So stay tuned. Keep up with it if you don't care. We're having a good time. Subscribe to our channel, Phillips Run, Drip, and Bubble Company. And uh, that being said, we'll talk to you all next time.